Hey guys, welcome to Russell's Outdoors. So are you still on the fence on whether or not you want to purchase the Z-Packs Arc Hall Backpack? Stay tuned, you don't want to miss this. Restless Outdoors. So after owning the Arc Hall now for a little over a year, I figured it was probably a fair time to make a follow-up video to the review that I did to this pack. So really today what I want to go over is the performance features that stood out to me that I still enjoy today, some of the quirks about this backpack that uh, still somewhat bother me, but honestly, I I've kind of gotten used to them, and just how well the actual bag, the quality of the bag performs. So let's get rolling. Okay guys, before I actually go over the features that really sold me on this pack, uh, and still to this day after a year of, of wearing this thing that I truly enjoy, a backpack is something that, again, you really don't want to skimp on. The Z-Packs are call, or any Z-Packs backpack, they are very pricey. There's no doubt about it. But really, you know, you, that old term, you get what you pay for, really rings true uh, with a backpack. Think about it. A backpack is something that, you know, is carrying all your gear out in the backcountry for an overnight or for a long period of time. It's probably the single most important piece of gear that when you're starting out or you're looking at upgrading, you really want to take a lot of consideration with. And that's exactly what I did with this pack. I did a lot of research and that's the thing about YouTube. I know that's why you're here because again, it may be something that you're getting ready to pull that trigger and you may want to buy it, but you're kind of balking at the price. I'm telling you, it's well, well worth uh, the $300 that this thing is uh, retailing for. So the main three features that really sold me on this pack were one, the ability to arc this backpack, I mean, to the extreme. And you can see here, I'm fitting my entire arm in between the mesh panel and the back panel of the backpack. This right here is a huge game changer, especially when you're doing long mileage, especially if it's hot. Having that pack away from it just makes it that much more comfortable. Having that air rush through, never really having a sweaty back. Now everyone's different and stuff, but to me, I never experienced any sweat on my back hiking with this backpack. The other big feature that sold me on this pack is the durability of this fabric. Now I've taken this thing out on multiple, multiple camping trips and backpacking trips. I am not by any means uh, gentle on my gear. Once I get to a campsite, I usually just plop it down or hang it on a tree. And I can safely say after a year of great abuse, this thing still looks like brand new. The only type of holes that I've experienced in this pack, uh, and again, it has nothing to do with the pack, it's not the pack's fault, it's my fault, uh, was hiking through uh, Red River Gorge going to Hanson's Point. There's a lot of low-laying branches there, twigs and stuff, and I don't care what pack you have, they all would have torn, because again, this mesh, even though it's nice and strong and it does stretch, uh, once it gets snagged, you're gonna get snagged. So, and I can show you right here uh, some of the holes there's one little one right here that came apart, and there should be another one right here, which is a little bit larger size, but you know what? With some uh, uh, thread and a needle, you could probably easily fix that. The other point is, I never put anything in my mesh pack. This is the first pack that I've owned that I've actually started utilizing this because there's a lot of space in this. Uh, and I'll just pull out some of the stuff that I have here. I have my sit pad. I have some uh, extra, well, unfrozen water right now. Um, I keep my tent steaks in there. I have my cook kit. Uh, I have a pack towel that I have down in here. So this thing is super, super roomy. As you can see here, just from me pulling on this and letting the dead weight of the pack fall, you can stick a lot of gear in here. And that's one thing that I'm starting to utilize more. Again, I never, I, I never wanted to have stuff on the outside of my pack. I always wanted to be streamlined and stuff, but then again, having stuff in the back mesh panel here just frees up a ton of space on the inside of the pack. Now, during the summertime, I probably won't utilize this because everything's gonna fit inside this pack. Like, I, I'll put it this way, this pack is a 60 liter pack. I need to like add stuff to actually fill this thing up. So I'll, like I said, no problem, put my cook set and all that stuff on the inside. But for winter backpacking, when you're taking extra clothes, you're taking a thicker quilt, uh, you know, gear like that for cold weather, it's so awesome to have the ability to uh, utilize this back mesh panel. And, the, and as you can see, having stuff in there, this thing still is 
goes right back into place. It doesn't stretch out, so that's an awesome feature. I know in some other packs I've seen, once this is stretched out, it kind of sags there, but this just has the great memory retention and goes right back in. Now the third feature I would have to say definitely is the weight of this pack. At 24 ounces, now that's without these uh, side pockets. I mean guys, 24 ounces for something as durable as this pack here. Now again, just like in my old video, which I'll link up here on my initial review, I chose the Dyneema uh, grit stop pattern over the just standard Cuban fiber. One reason again is because I am kind of rough in my gear and this is something that I know is going to hold up extremely well and it has. Again, you can see this pack. Uh, uh, I've had a ton of videos of me backpacking. Again, this thing still looks brand new and I'm going to reiterate this. I don't really take care of my stuff, so I'm kind of guilty of that. But Now, I did want to go over some of the quirks of this backpack and believe me, every backpack or any piece of camping equipment is going to have its quirk. These things really don't bother me too much, but again, I do want to point them out. And again, right now it's actually not an issue. So anyone purchasing or thinking about purchasing it, go right ahead because really, again, it's not an issue anymore because they did fix it. But one thing is with these load lifters, the design of this uh, it has changed. They actually use this sort of a, a buckle system. Uh, what tends to happen is this strap uh, kind of twists as you pull up on the load lifters. Now, I, I do want to say this. I did contact Z-Packs last year. They were kind enough to send me kind of a repair. I've yet to put it on here. They actually, I emailed them again. I asked them, well, what do I do with this thing? And they actually made a video to show me how to, how to replace it. But to me, I think having a buckle like this where it doesn't twist and it stays more stationary would fix this permanently than the fix that they gave me. So honestly, it's just something that I never really even put on. I just kind of got used to it. It doesn't really bother me. Once it's, it's set in place, it doesn't slip down. So it's just that initial, when you're trying to pull up on your load lifter, it would twist and bind. And again, once it's back up or once you pull it up, you, you really don't uh, uh, have any issues. So another quirk that I've experienced with this bag are these belt pockets. Now granted, these belt pockets are gigantic. And just to kind of give you an idea of what I store in my belt pockets, I have a Sawyer Mini. This is my water filtration system. I carry my cell phone, which is, this is a, uh, a Galaxy uh, S7 or whatever. I mean, it's a fairly large phone. Uh, carry my first aid supply. Carry a little thing of uh, like dog deterrent pepper spray. Uh, so, with room to spare. There's a lot of room in these things. The biggest quirk that I have though is opening and closing the zipper once it's on. You almost have to grasp it with two hands to get it to open and close. The zippers are very tiny. They do have these pools, which I'm sure you can replace and get large, you know, longer pools. But to me, once it's inside my belt pocket, I generally never touch it until I take my pack off. It is that much of a pain for me to try to open and close this thing. So if you're purchasing this, I would say skip the bell pocket and buy the multi-pack. The multi-pack is unbelievable. It is literally larger than two bell pockets put together. You have such great access to it when it's on your chest. It is a super, super comfortable accessory to buy for this pack. Again, I bought the multi-pack to store all my camera gear for when I'm vlogging on the trail. If I wasn't taking my camera equipment, I wouldn't even utilize these pockets and put everything inside that multi-pack. It is that good. And really, I think for the cost of the bell pocket, it's roughly the same uh, price as that multi-pack. So, so if I had to do it all over again, I would skip on the bell pockets and buy that multi-pack. And the other thing is with the multi-pack, along with this belt pack, you can remove these, but the multi-pack, you can, you can remove it much easier. It just runs on two clips and you can just take it on and off. It's, it's that good. I, I say anyone that, that is looking into that, definitely buy that. So before this turns into a half hour long video, I wanna make it short and sweet. Again, I'm, I'm targeting this video for someone that's at their computer, maybe has that Z-Packs R call in their shopping cart and they're just waiting to, to hit that buy button. I'm telling you guys, hit it. 
there's a lot of features on here that again really push me over the edge over a pack like the Offspray Exos 48. Now I did own that pack and I love that pack and I'm not knocking that pack by any means but your backpack is something that you are going to carry with you every time you go backpacking hands down. There could be different tents, you could be taking a, a hammock or a quilt maybe one time, you may be taking a bivy set, I mean that stuff changes. Uh, your clothing changes, uh, sometimes your cook gear changes, but one thing that does not change is your backpack. It's the one piece of equipment that, again, spend the money, buy to me what's the best of the best that's out there. When you start adding up the prices of backpacks though, and take this in consideration, a lot of backpacks are not waterproof, so now you have to spend another $20 to $25 on a pack cover. The contents on the inside, because the pack's not waterproof, uh, you may have to buy additional stuff sacks. Stuff sacks add up as well. So really, you know, you, you kind of have to weigh your options. This pack, I never put anything in as far as any type of waterproofing or anything like that. This thing is sealed tight. It's got that beautiful roll top. Uh, Never had anything really get wet inside. Uh, and I've been in through uh, uh, some downpours, especially on my Laurel Highlands trip. It had rained the entire day, but I can safely say everything on the inside was completely dry. So take that in consideration too. The build quality is something that, I mean, these are handmade. Uh, they're not mass produced by any means. Uh, you can customize these things. You know, uh, they grow with you. Uh, you can replace the belt uh, if you get skinnier if you get larger uh, you don't have to get a whole new pack you just buy a separate belt to accommodate your your weight fluctuations another good thing is how modular these packs are again if you don't want to carry belt pockets with you you can take them off if you want to carry the multi-pack you can just clip it on or just leave it at home if you want to the fact that it's a 60 liter pack gives you an enormous amount of options uh, for summer backpacking Again, where you're not going to carry much, you can actually go and roll that roll top feature down. Or in some cases, like with us living here in the Northeast in winter, having that capability of 60 liters is just, you know, I never thought I would fill it, you know, but I have. Cold weather gear is something to take in consideration when buying a pack. Will it fit? Will it all stuff inside without, you know, being uncomfortable? And I can easily say having this thing filled feels phenomenal. I mean, I, when I'm walking down the trail, it doesn't feel like I'm even wearing a pack. That's why I always said it's sort of like a custom pack that's for you. And, and there's not a lot of points that touch uh, your body. Essentially, the bottom of the pack where your belt, that's touching, and then really up here by your shoulders. The rest of it is just away from you. So that just makes for such a comfortable, uh, kind of like walking without a pack. And that's kind of the best way I can explain it. That's how others explain it too. A lot of people have these packs. The color options they have. Now obviously I have the green. The green I thought looked awesome. And I still love the color. Uh, you see a lot of blacks out there. You see a lot of oranges out there. But one color actually that I've never seen in this pack. So if you want to differentiate yourself and you want to stand out, Look at the blue. I think the blue is really cool. I haven't seen it in person, but that is something that I never see a blue pack out there. So, uh, you know, if you're, if, you know, if you're one of those people that want to get the pack, but eh, everyone's got it, get the blue pack because no one's got it. So you'll definitely stand out of the crowd. So, but anyways, guys, I really hope you appreciate it. And I hope that the, some of the points I made may have steered you to, to purchase it. Uh, again, you will not be disappointed. Every friend of mine that has purchased this, they, they thank me. They say, this thing is awesome, and, 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 and believe me, uh, I, I always have a smile on my face when I'm backpacking now because, again, it just feels, like I said, I, you have to put it on to understand, and that's why you should buy it. So, anyways, guys, I appreciate it, and we'll see you on the next video. Thanks.